Agus Fiske Mahula Dunya. Shit. Right, Randy, sorry. Close enough, Raymond. Close enough. Welcome to the very first podcast. And of course, with Raymond, it would turn off wrong. Welcome to the Stain Pokes. Um, Stain Poke. And joint with me is also Stain Poke. Hello, it's Misha Stain Poke. So, That's for all the folk up there and like way up high. That's the flag. So we decided to do this because we talk past each other on a daily basis. Daily, daily, daily basis. The amount of shit we got, the amount of shit we've got to over the last, I don't know, what, six, when did we exactly become pal? Fifteen years. Last bit fifteen years. The amount of shit we've got done. Pretty silly. Uh, I would have been second year at school when I got invited to Mr. Hughes's music class. I thought it would have been... It's quite funny, the, the only reason I remember that so vividly is the fact that me and JJ had a fight. <laughs> we were both suspended for a week because they said fight. And JJ was back the day before me because I was no wheel. I ended up fucking, on the last day of the suspension, I ended up with a chest infection. So I ended up two days made off skill. And when I got back to the skill, Miss Ashley came to us saying, oh, by the way, when you were off, we were running looking for guitar players. And JJ had pointed out that you were a guitar player, which made me think, oh, I don't mean him. Beef got suspended like a week ago for fighting. Why is he doing me a favour like that? Because that's then you, like... you ended up at the guitar lessons about four or five weeks after me. Mm-hmm. No, I, I was... I, that is, that is. Long afterwards, because me and Adam were... At the same time... Let's start. Then me and Adam both kept claiming. Right, me, me and Adam. I can't understand. Me and Adam started at the same, the same time. We, we had the same lesson. Me and him had like a half of a block split into fifteens mm-hmm. to begin with because there wasn't a enough lessons for you, Jay boy. Obviously, I uh, you were on the, the, the slot after me. Mm-hmm. Well, the slot after me most of the time, but the way his timetable worked, it, right, it changed up. Right. Ended up being after Ross Bingham. That's how I got to Ken Ross Wiggum so real. Because he used to just die uh, for like half an hour and play guitar in my lesson. Me, I used to do that too. It was a good excuse to get out of classes. Aye. I was just raising my classes usually. The last half, the last half of it, I couldn't get out it. Unless I had like an exam coming up. See, I was lucky that way. Mine was the first half of it, but most of the teachers didn't really follow up if you actually went there or not. Right. I, I, learned, I learned this in fifth year that, no, it wasn't fifth year, it was in sixth year, just before I got moved into the computing class with you. Teachers did not check any of that up, especially when you were a sixth year. Oh, no, mate, no. I was at, mate, I, I was at six or seven guitar lessons a day. Jesus, fifth, fifth, fifth year, I was with you. Uh, I was meant to be at the uh, geography when I dropped geography. I was meant to be in the library every day doing homework. I sat in the cafeteria or the uh, uh, what's it called? The cafeteria or the common room. The common room. No, I was I was one of only fifth years old at that point because I had a free period. Used to go and play switch. Learning to gamble in the school common room. Right. No, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, imagine, imagine how much I could have made if I can't what I can now about gambling. Right, if you could do all your wee uh, tricks back then, Jesus. Like, what like, we went to school, we weren't actually that clever. I don't think they would have noticed bottom dealing and second dealing. No, and no, that no, 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 especially at that time, they weren't caring. They were just having <coughs> Oh, you could get away with it. Like, you wouldn't need to worry about broken knuckles, uh, broken right. fingers. No, right, well, maybe, maybe a few of them. AJ comes to mind. Was it AJ? Oh, a big AJ, man. Yeah, he'd break your fingers. Uh, <laughs> No, mate, I reckon he would he would want to want to break your fingers, but then you wouldn't take a lot of convincing to say to him when we work together. Mm-hmm. Like AJ was definitely up to, up for quite a lot, man. For Coon. we used to free run, run about come run about the skill. No, uh, no. We taught him how to backflip using a fucking wall and two bodies as support. <laughs> Jesus. So we did. Like, I remember seeing that. Me- remember the wall flaps? Oh, me and oh, oh. I remember that one. The learning to backflap in the common room was similar to me standing on top of that big container at the back of 
the pre-signed. Is that the one you was always terrified to jump off of? For years, for years. A wee bit of backstory in this. So, uh, for, year, for years, we always kept outside the precinct. It was this big water container. And next, it, and it was a wee bit of road. And the next step was the fate, we'll call it the famous, uh, in, our, in our line, it's the famous uh, uh, electrical box. Taxi rag. We spent a lot of time yeah. selling in there. Electrical box at the taxi rag. And you could, but you could go into the roof, but we'll face them. And everybody always said, that's somebody should jump for the water tower. It was this big, big, <coughs> or, or, but probably the size of a house. And you could jump for that onto the thing which was about half the size. The water, the, the electrical box. Raymond, for for years, and I'm talking about good two or three years, but climbed up for this every single time, just about that. Yeah, I remember once, once a month, we climb up and go, I'm going to jump it, I'm going to do it. We've seen a couple of folks do it, and Raymond's like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm talking years, three years ago, I'm still going up and this and then checking it every single time until the one day we start in there, off on it for a good two hours by this point, at least two hours, we start in on carpet, petrified, eating brave sweeties, known as love hearts. Brave pals. Uh, brave pals, sorry. Brave pals, sorry. Brave, brave pals, sorry. Right. You're going to tell a story, tell it right. <laughs> sorry, sorry, brave pals. And then I went to the... Ned's, the Bashir boys, appeared. I can't even remember exactly what ones to name their names, but a couple of the Bashir boys appeared. Right, and Bell, Ned, was this... Bell was one of them, because he was, was the one who ended up and just fucking ran down the board. Right. question it. It was, he basically come up, got himself up on the thing, goes, all right, mate, and just started running. And he was gone again. Fuck it, I'm not even talking about on the next fucking roof. I'm talking on the next roof, doing half it, disappeared. <laughs> Genuinely, I... Will the fuck? So Raymond kind of had to do it. No, no sweat, no boys. Just do it. If they can do it, you have to do it. Show sure you've got face. So he finally done it. To, to finally do it and go, aye, that wasn't that bad. Another bit, of, another bit to bring some context into it, it was only about a fucking nine feet. If that, it wasn't even a... a a big gap, like some of the gaps that we used to get in and do with mini me and stuff like that. That mm-hmm. they were bigger. Right, the stuff we used to date here. The jump at the cubes, the stuff that we used to date here up on the the roof right. and stuff. The cubes is cubes is a bigger jump actually. No, it's a bit of context. So people kind of think that people know what the, the square and cumlet looks like. Uh the, the cubes at the, the square the the, the stairs into the bus stands. That is a bigger jump. And you just you used to night every day. Like it was nothing, but he's could they jump. He could they jump because it was the fit. To be fair, if he fell, it would have been a scene. That's why I never done it. I, I'm slagging his off, like bastard at the bottom in the ground and watched. So that's I wish we would then fucking jackass and see it, see KY shit and recorded this stuff, but we didn't have uh, that sort of technology. No, me at that point we'd fucking what was the was it Samsung? That done the slide phones. I remember oh, uh, that. So, so an Ericsson's, uh, was it no? I'm not sure. It was one that was really popular. Everybody had it. So uh, I'm just waving the night night to my child, by the way, if one of you's asking, what can we talk about there? I jackass shit. Uh, I vaguely remember it was a slide phone that was popular with everybody. It was like the Samsung K fucking one, two, three or something. That's not the actual name it's just the example Samsung and that they did have them they done the Walkman that was a slide one right aye. And it, was the, it was the black and white the silver one the silver and white one mm-hmm. then it was the cyber shot which was the one I had to explode it we'll, uh, we'll have to talk about that one at one point but I vague, very vaguely recall trying to step up something along the lines of Jackass we we Dan Dan Back in the day, which yeah. we can actually, we'll, there will probably be mere mention of Dan Dan when we start talking about the shitty band that I was in when oh, I was a teenager. Right, right, I want to talk about him. Which I'm going to point out, mate, that the footage is still out there somewhere. Mm-hmm. I sent you, I sent you a, call, a link to this footage like last year when I was in the way home for Gate Seed. Right, the face misery stuff. No. I love that. The precinct performance and the precinct's still available. Yours and the Smell to Monday stuff. It's still all on YouTube. 
I have wouldn't ken how to go about getting Daily Smile to Monday stuff, but I can still uh, that pre sign gig. Mm-hmm. But I would like to see the footage again. It's on YouTube. Ah, it's finding it. That's, that's what I'm meaning, mate. Finding I can, it. I, I can't remember. I'm still subscribed. I'm actually still subscribed to the Smile to Monday YouTube page. I was going through my YouTube subscriptions, subscriptions this morning and I seen it. I was like, oh, fuck. Smile to Monday. And so they've got yeah, some of their stuff on that. Is it pure sad that I refuse to acknowledge that singer on YouTube? To the point I'm refusing to even acknowledge her by name. Oh, on... my God, no, 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 fuck off, no, 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 even talk about her. You were in a band with a singer. What a day of online as there's a link to, no, but it's not a link, it's an old fucking YouTube I couldn't that I had when I was at college. Right. It's the old guitar covers that I done as well. Of oh, that old, oh, that old day before I had. Was, the one in. No, I'm not going to lie, mate. I've got the, the page open now, and there is a grand total of two, four, six, seven. Elect, no, six electric covers. Two acoustic covers that I done at Airflow Show, and two shitty electronic style covers that wasn't even covers it was remixes mm-hmm. yeah any of them was all oh, segments we fucking light lines for a Martin Martin Jeff Hardy DVD that I cut and pasted together to make a wee tune called The Antichrist that was mainly stuff about Jeff Hardy being the Antichrist of professional wrestling and there's another one that's your deepest fears. It was a speech for Coach Carter that I co- copied and pasted it and fucking messed a bit with it and it turned out shit. But it's funny to look back and go, hey, that's the shit I was doing when I was at college and no one I never went very far with the electronic side of it. Hi, because it's not your cup of tea, though. It's boring as shit sitting playing jigsaw on a computer. Because we're boring to music, real music, so that's what happens. That kind of music, the stuff that you, the music that you did for. It's on YouTube, Faith and Misery, come up. Aye, that's just the the, that's the, first hall. Videos, the first three videos were at the town hall. I thought you meant the precinct stuff. I I I've seen the precinct stuff before. That'll pro- mate, it's probably in there. To, mate, smile to Monday, <laughs> an actual fucking girlfriend in there. Mate, but, Hey, put that Aww. on. This is a good blast for the past. This is guys that we went to school with that fucking they were in his class at the school. No mind. That's in the rugby club. That's so. This is that's before me and you were actual pals, really. Me and you were kind of starting to become pals at that point, but we weren't really talking. If you get what I mean. I think we had started the guitar lessons at that point. I, I was doing the guitar lessons when I was at the rugby club, like, so I was bumming my guitar, like, but we weren't, they, me and you weren't they really, we weren't the pal pals. <laughs> we said oh, no, we to, we said to go together, uh, walking back, came walk together. Aye, because we stayed next door, next door to uh, no, not next door, we're in the corner for each other for years, not even realising. Right, now that's, that's the funniest part of the story, is we stayed, we stayed, I stayed in a cul de sac and you stayed literally. Two minutes from my house. I could see, I could probably see your back door from my front door. So I think if there wasn't that house in the way. I think oh, I mate, you're, you're talking less than 100 metres on the cross back. Right. And we went, you were the year above me at primary school. So we should have kept each other because I can't a lot of people in your year at primary school, obviously. Mm-hmm. We didn't meet until primary, uh, until second year. And when I actually didn't like you. I thought you were a prick. Because, <laughs> do I met you were. <laughs> in, in fairness, I, I am a prick and I'm still a prick. Oh, I, I think it's just a case of you got yes to understanding how a prick is. No, uh, at that point, you were kicking about with uh, Dan Dan and uh, Penguin. I don't know call his real name, just in case. You were kicking with Dan Dan and Penguin at that point. And you were you were the older boy, but you were trying to still be the cool kid. So you were mm. just showing off, sort of thing. And then, right. we, got, but then we started because we, we ended up bumping into each other, I think it was walking home to school one day. 
and we decided to, we just decided to start walking home. And that's when we realised, I realised you were different in your set when you're just you. When it's just me and you, you're always, you've always been that, you, are, you were that for a wee while. It was always just me and you. It was me and you, yeah. and you were always completely a different person. And then in front of other people, you were a bit of a weirdo because you were trying to be something else. But that's what you do when you're a teenager. That's nah, a, every day you see that awkward, awkward face where you're trying to figure out where to fit in. Right. No, that's just how it works. But, uh, I'm going to throw a wee disclaimer out there for anybody that's listening. These people that are named in these stories may or may not have the real name attached to them. Mm-hmm. Is all I'm saying. Some names may be changed if you're lucky and notice your own name fucking good for you. There's no prize in it for you or anything. And if you don't like it, like the fact we're talking have, about you, cough shit. I happened to catch that there was maybe a story in there and the name has been changed and it's about you. Fire a fucking comment on that make it incognito, is it like, as if they say, yeah, you came out with, you came out with doing that sort of thing. No, if we're always mentioning you, if we're always mentioning you, we'll mention you and there'll be names you want. <laughs> no, if we choose to mention you, we'll, we'll choose to mention you, but some folk will be protected for their own protection. No, there's a lot of people who will have to mention by real name because there were that big a pair, obviously. Like, oh, like folk, folk, folk like Samson and stuff like that. We need to mention Samson, many me. People like that Samson, need to get mentioned. Many me, fucking McCubbin, Echo. Aye. Folk that fucking McCubbin, me, to, like, me overhearing McCubbin on the phone. No, it's only Basically. a reason it's it's the only reason, reason myself out. Because uh, when we're... The, the way I was looking at it at the time was it wasn't even a case of here, I've got, I've got an opportunity to fix a friendship here. The way I was looking at it was he's going to be left standing in the bus stands for a good 20 minutes. I can't when he's uh, gone, I'll get him up the road. I just, I just wait for Dean to come down, but... If I say to him, right, I'm heading in the same direction as you, you run into him eventually. No, no, because we'd be uh, walking, walking, hate back and forth with the skill for a while. We'd decide, we'd, we'd do a wee fight, a wee fight at, at, at the world famous bench, which is no longer there, unfortunately. We'd do a wee fight and a wee scuffle. And we never, we didn't speak for about, about, about a week or so. It was like the longest we you spoke. Uh, about a week, probably. Probably the longest we've never spoke. I think it's probably <laughs> close to a fortnight. Aye, aye, about that. Because we just, we, I, just, I didn't even go near music. I avoided you. I was like, fuck him, I'm done. I don't, <laughs> guy's a guy that prick, done me him. It's don't need him. It's been the longest we've intentionally went without speaking to each other aye. ever. Aye. There has been times where it's like, we've no spoke to each other and it goes back to message and it's like, fuck, it's been a few weeks since I messaged him. Aye, we just we, uh, we, 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 ran, we ran so back. back. It's straight back to exactly where we were in that conversation. It's not as if it's fucking. Sorry, I didn't message you. It was literally just no there's an answer to your message. Just, I, I've been busy. I'm got. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. Fuck it. Here's your response. Take what you have. <laughs> right, right. You go, and then uh, some. Sometimes it's responses. You go. What the fuck? You, I just get the, I just get the notification on the front of my phone. And it's just your message. I go, what? What? What is that? <laughs> you see one half of the message, mate. That was why I gave up using Snapchat to keep in contact with anybody. Oh, I... especially especially with having particular habits. No, right, because you have to you have to you, you forget things too quick. Using Snapchat, you set the phone down and forget that you've even been in a conversation with anybody, and you get a response saying, "Aye, that's fine." And you really like you look at it and go, aye, that's cool. But aye. what's fine? <laughs> what's fine? What, 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 fucking comment thread. And at least that was what it was like at the time. Mm-hmm. Whether that's changed or not. Like I can't that was why you may spoke use Snapchat was the fact that it didn't stay there for too long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've never I haven't I've used it back in the day. <laughs> why did some folk use that? I wonder, wonder. Certainly I never I never ever I used it back back fuck. Before I got my blues and tattoo, that's when I was getting it. Oh, that yeah. was been batting, batting, batting the day, batting 2018 or something. And I, I, when it first came out, I didn't like it. I don't like taking pictures. I'm not really a picture person. Mate, so. I, I'm that way, and all like fair dues. If I'm taking a picture to show somebody something, it's different. But mm-hmm. 
I'm no going to just pull my phone out and take your photo or something because it looks fancy. It'd be like, right, I need to show Dean that or I need to show my mother that. Or I have to keep, I have to keep a streak going because you have to take, you have to send a picture every, every so often to somebody. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Oh, I, mean, I don't you understand it. Daily streak, man. Fucking no, Laura, Laura used to tell us about that. They had her and her pal had a snap, a Snapchat streak that lasted over a hundred days. As she pointed out that most days it was just like a message what? to a message with a thumbs up saying keeping the streak alive. I totally get the streak thing if it's done in the right way because Jilingo does the streaks. Mm. But that's that's different because it's a language learning app. So the streak things keep to try and motivate you to go on every day. Aye, so it but it's one of the kind of things where the streak also can if you do it. Routinely regiment regimentally like fucking you go on in day two lessons per day every day, no change. You can go and like track yourself that way, but it's too much like fucking too much like skill work that way. <laughs> but the way I do it, man, there's, there's some days I don't go on in day lessons but simply because I can't be fucked. Right. I don't bother. Like my streaks at fifty something days in it, but that's not because I purposefully went on to try and keep it alive. It's just keep going on. No, right, because there's nothing else to do. So right, how far into the timeline have we got so far, man? We got as far as McCobbin. We fell out. McCobbin, we fell out. We, we, so you met McCobbin at the bus. That was, bus. that was before I left school. No, so that, well, I didn't even, I we didn't even explain what, we only explaining what McCobbin, the whole McCobbin thing was. We might as well explain that situation. We must talk about that, that, what actually happened. So you met, you met McCobbin when the bus was it? McCobbin and, I can't remember I, the guy's name now. I can't remember the other guy's name. I'm pretty sure though that other fella ended up spewing all their Josephs. Ah, he did. They all. Uh, that was the guy that one. bought. That was the guy that bought the, uh, the laptop. Was it no? That's it. Brand new laptop. Right. Pure accident. Pure, pure, not an accident. If the guy, if I can't remember the guy's name now. The guy was a nice fella. I mean, I'm sure not an accident. Didn't he mean it? Everybody forgave him until he became a bit of prick for then it. <laughs> But he came back to an apartment mum's but and that, that means something. If you know, made it back to a parent mum, dad's house, that's trust. Uh, I, mate, I'm, the way I make, the, I'm, I laugh because as much as there's only four lanes in the house, Laura makes the joke that she's actually got seven lanes because she couldn't meet the cat and the dog. Fuck. Well, I can't say much. I'm sitting in my, I'm sitting in my, my glorious room as folk can see that she's a, uh, I'm surrounded by toys. To be, be very near, they can see them. You can only see my collection of Blu-rays, DVDs. I've got. I'm, surra- I'm surrounded by toys today, but I don't get to fucking play with them. Oh, no, no, they are. Well, I, I, that's, a total, <laughs> I, that's a total lie. I'm constantly playing with the toys. I, I, I don't get to play with any of my toys. That's the problem. That's the problem. <coughs> we don't get you could if you wanted to. Like, these no, are the only toys I've got that I can play with whenever I feel like. No, really. Well, like... Same in other tools. I'll get to them in another podcast. The first one I can grab, the only one I can grab, is technically a carnival play with because it's still in a box. No, so I, mean, I, can't, you could, I can't play with it. I couldn't. Could, I couldn't take it. Could, I couldn't could take it. Yeah. This well, one does come out the box. box. You could keep no. it in the box. Just pretend the box isn't there. This one does come out the box, to be fair. I have all this one is, and is opened, unfortunately. But it is a still, it's still a rare as fuck item. <laughs> Mate, it looks rare. It looked as if it was Japanese, right? Huh? That is. That's my. That's my my holy grail. That's that is my holy grail item. My, my collection. It's uh, the. It's before even Power Rangers was on American telly. It was Aye. brought in ninety two. It's uh, the Super Sentai's White's Power Rangers sword, which makes it even cooler. <laughs> that's why I love it. That's why it sits. It sits on the DVDs. Where the DVDs, it's that that much of a collection. See, I wouldn't have Ken. I would have thought your Megazord would have been the no. like the Piesta Resistance Holy Grail. No, no, that that just because how say that I've got my white my white Power Ranger helmet to be fair, and that sits in my living room. So that's that's a, a pride of place in my living room. So that's probably my that's probably my Holy Grail because it's something I've always wanted. I've always wanted to be the white Power Ranger. Because I'm a, I'm a tado. I mean, I remember that actually getting told about Tommy T. <laughs> anyway, mate, we're fucking we've went off track again, man. Aye, we're supposed aye. to be talking about 
So, uh, yeah. aye, so you, you meet my cousin on the bus. We hang down. They're drinking because drinking they're coming to my bike. They're coming to my bike. This is but who is having a, a party. As folk did back then. Unfortunately, you're not. Mate, was, was that by any? Was that by any chance the year I got of the uh, happy third birthday cab? No, 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 because we weren't like, talking. So you wouldn't have got it or something that year. That would have been the year That would have been, been probably the next year, because that's when we became really good. Like, in that year, we became really good pals. So it was probably that year. Oh, yeah. Uh, Aye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Smashed. 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 It is a wee tiny wee village that if you're driving through it, you blink and miss it. But if you're walking through it, it takes fucking forever. Aye, and you can get lost. You can go, you can, especially coming from the bus stands, you can walk five different ways and you can walk into, <laughs> into a different scheme. And fair enough, nowadays, it's, there's no, it's come up, no, it's, even back then, different schemes didn't even fuck all you and your fucking toy cars. <laughs> Mate, I'm just fun that's doing the side of the chair. Oh, wow. It was like a, a kinder egg toy. I generally was a kid. <laughs> uh, I would hazard a guess that that's probably what it is. No, that's what it looks what, like. What else have I got doing the side of the chair? Pound coin. Five pence. No, mate, Pound coins fall through it. Coins just fall through it. A random bit of plastic. Don't know what it's for, though. I, think, yeah, I was going to say it looks like a key. Mate, I, I was going to say that it kind of looks like a key or a wee cable tie. I think uh-huh. it bend, but it will only bend. But that's as far as it will bend. It looks like a wee music note now. <laughs> Does it? But do some magic with it. One, two, three. <laughs> you, you, you heard the click in the background. Just ignore that. <laughs> it made that good laugh. So <laughs> well, edit that out. <laughs> Mate, don't even bother editing nothing. No, 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 no. I'm joking. <laughs> we'll edit that sound out. We'll just go into I'll, I'll edit it. I'll end the post and edit the sound out. Just that noise. <laughs> I'll probably forget. Uh, aye, so... Uh, you meet my cousin, they're drinking. I come with my sister for a drink. You... Fire station? Just past the fire station? Shall we all? We meet? Uh, I reckon it was probably about the chapel hall. Mm-hmm. So it was, which would be... You can guess, I mean, it would be the halfway mark. I'd say between the between the chapel hall and the fire station would be the halfway mark between Joe's bit and the fire bus stands. The bus stands, aye. No, and the boy, the boy, the boy who names so we can't remember. He was already pretty fucking steaming by this point, and he's uh, he was he was already pretty much far gone. But it was that way. Like I sat on the I got on the bus in here at the at the bus station. Pretty much the next bus stop, McCubbin gets on. Automatic fucking thought in my head was the cunts get dreadlocks, he must Ken Joe. Yeah, Joe that was, was a common joke. Joe was the first white person I ever met with dreads. Mm-hmm. I, they were the tie in ones, but still, first right. person, first white person we can with dreads. So it became a common occurrence. If you've seen any white guy with dreads, whether it was, in, <laughs> whether it was a person, mate, I'm using guy as the general gender neutral fucking uh, uh, applies to everybody. I'm not being PC. <laughs> uh, no, you're, you're using your phone. Only body, aye, PC, uh, phone and laptop, no PC. Uh, <laughs> anybody we've seen that had dreadlocks automatically knew Joe, automatically knew Joe's pals. So straight away, the, he must ken Joe, he's got dreadlocks. I was fucking right enough straight away, but I didn't bother saying on him. And maybe f- we hadn't even got out of air, and they were on the phone to Joe. And I overheard them saying, hey, Joe's wee brother's got to come and get us. Ken is straight away, I can who Joe's wee brother is, I can exactly who you are now. Just through hearing stories about McCubbin coming to parties. That was the first time I ever met McCubbin. Mm. No, you didn't think anyone was at that point. But just pointed out here, man, this is probably going to sound weird as fuck, but I was listening to your phone call and I happened to Ken where you're gone. When we got off the bus railing, you have me stand and wait 20 minutes for him to come down and get you. I'll Phone let him, Ken, you're there. He can make you I'll take you up this way because that's the way he'll come down. Mm-hmm. 
Ah, uh, you, you can take there is like you said, there's about five or six different routes you can take to get for Joe's back to the bus stand. Right, right, but you can each one of them. Each one of them is probably a bit similar amount of time, maybe mm-hmm. a wee bit of following each other. No, right. but it was you, get, you can know everybody's going to walk. The most common people walk. I get the most common route, so I thought right, we'll, go, we'll go that way. But I if I can, if I had not run out of my cabin then. Because I'm pretty sure fucking me and Faith and Mizzy, again, I'm not acknowledging particular people's names. Uh, we Dan Dan, I'll acknowledge his name when it comes to talking about the band, but right. they're uh, We written. were at a gig at the Ark. Mm-hmm. So we were, and that was why we were heading back. Because it right. was like the fucking the second last bus came for here. And it was the second last bus because we planned it that way so that if we missed the second last one we did, still didn't have to phone coming back mm-hmm. us up <clears throat> if we missed the second last one we can phone and explain we just missed the, la- the bus we were going for this bus will get the same on our stone it's after curfew but we'll be him. At, least, at least we've got a road home no you don't need to come pack us up you don't need to come and pack us up I'll be an hour later than usual shit sorry it's my fault no <laughs> which is actually quite funny because me and my mum <clears throat> were having a laugh the other day about how my curfew was 10 o'clock that didn't actually mean I was in the house for 10 o'clock and then we were in the garden by 10 o'clock oh Jesus aye aye that... the thing was my mum didn't even argue she was just like aye and it didn't really bother me until I was trying to sleep then it did bother me <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time that like that was I was thinking we were super clever and we found a way around about the fucking loophole of the right. parental contract. And yeah. my mom was totally sound it. Yeah, I, I, I it made, it made, made my family sound bad. I, I didn't have a curfew, especially at that time. No. I, my, my curfew was maybe about, I think I was in the house for about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. It was my curfew, so I was always in at any time sort of thing, because mum and dad were cool. <laughs> uh, so well, See, the thing is, like, in certain conversations with my mom, if circumstances were different, I wouldn't have had one either. Mm-hmm. Like, and talking and getting closer to my mom since I've got in my own house and I've got the family that, that now, there has been stuff where I've been openly te- openly mentioning stuff that I have never said in front of my mom. And my mom's just sitting there nodding as if she, she kens the fucking story. Right. Because right. whether she's whether she's heard that for you mentioning something by accident or for somebody that was at the party seeing me steaming out my tits at 16. Aye. Like, so I, I, don't, I don't hide it for your mum. I tell your mum all these stories because I think they're funny. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the same when I tell your mum about the, your 18th, what you got up to after she went home. Uh, what, what isn't he telling her to get you into trouble or to rip the pass out of you? No, it's just again. Genuinely. Genuinely filling your mind in about the facts. I I wasn't I wasn't feeling too well that night, so I'll, I waited till later on. You were already steaming, but I come down to get you. Make sure you get him all right. Your mom understood that. No, that's fair dues. Sound pal, you can't get out to enjoy it yourself, but you're at least getting out to make sure he gets him all right. Mm-hmm. We cause in cause in for a quick pint. I think right, fuck it. I'll I'll force myself a half pint so we're getting a drink for your birthday. Then we eventually leave the pub. That's, at this moment, at this moment, this is a moment in time where I black out. Like I don't. I, do you ever? The famous moment. In you remember movies. being up? I remember. I remember all the way to Thistle. I remember drinking the half pint in the Thistle, and then it's like movies. Right, like right, when they walk out. The, when you walk out the door, it goes. It goes blank. God, I remember walking out the door. And saying bye to the bye, bye through the window to the bar the bar the barkeeper and the guy I think it was um, Jenny Valentine's favour. Or grandpa. Uh, old Jan. Old uh, Jan. He, it was, we waved bye to them and that's all I remember. For that and then then I woke up in my bed. Proper proper spark through it. Don't remember a thing. And to this day, it's still the only time in my life I've blacked out and I do not remember a thing. Not one bit yet. I woke up with a road sign in my room. Like, mate, do you bang. have that road sign? Do you have that road sign at arm's length to bring no. it on to camera when queued? No, no, right, I, so don't, I don't have it in, in Glasgow. It's but, in but, but, 
what I'm doing underneath the thumb and the car is actually going to draw it before I tell the fucking the rest of this. So, um, I, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, so you it's, remember, it's, sitting, uh, it's sitting by in my dad's hut, safe. Right. So, you remember leaving the pub saying ta ta to everybody? Mm-hmm. Right. So, That's across that. the road from this pub is the infamous bench that we refer to and we'll all refer to through numerous stories. Yes, because uh, it became. <laughs> Very famous. <laughs> uh, mate, they, that bench is still to get solidified in tattoo form. Why? I hundred percent. But we crossed the road at that bench, sat there for five. I was feeling the call in nature, so decided to bleed the lizard. But the way I was sitting, Dean thought I was doing the other version of the toilet. <laughs> You were convinced I was bearing my ears to Shire Housing. Aye, aye. Because he did the Dizzy Muse uh, pose. And we'll leave that to aye. people's imagination. Uh, <laughs> if you don't recognise it for Jason Muse, I reckon Steve O's backflip wearing the cheetah is probably the best way to explain it. Aye, aye, aye. aye. That's the most famous one. I, I wasn't wearing the cheetah and I didn't do the backflip. It was just the position I had myself in. It was more like Jason Mewes. Uh, or Silent Bob. Jane Silent Bob. More more like would, I get, would I get away with saying it's like a, a, the way a drag queen would hide his bits? Aye. Uh, but aye, you thought I was there, I dump. So after that, we were the co- we were headed around the corner onto Homeburn Road, which is a state I stayed on. And maybe 30 yards in front of us, there was roadworks. No, I remember... I remember the, I, I don't remember in that situation the roadworks, but I remember obviously that's why we walked every day. I walked past yeah. the roadworks about fucking 20 times. And I'm saying I say to you, sober, stone cold sober. I'm saying I say to you, I want to want the road signs for my room because it was on a TV hey, yeah. show. I seen I think it was it, skins. It wasn't just that particular set of roadworks that you said that uh, you said it every set of roadworks. It's road always been it's yeah. always been a thing I've wanted. I think it was skins. I think it happened with skins. Somebody had a road sign in the room and I went, that's cool. I like road sign in my room. It's always been any of the wee things. So but, I, I'm guessing subconsciously, Stephen, I'm like, I'm picking any of these road signs up. But see, I but that's no the words that came out of your mouth. <laughs> and there it was. I've been overexcited, like, the only way to really explain it is when Billy Conley refers to the story of Spider-Man. Why is he called Spider-Man? Because, why is your horns all fucked? Because somebody trampled, trampled my horns in the walk came. That's kind of the way you were walking when you, like, got yourself up to these roadworks. And we, for anybody that knows the highway code, uh, fucking the traffic signs, can you make that up. This is the very road sign that you stole. And decided, turned around, totally demanded that you needed this road sign. It wasn't just that you wanted it for your walk. You needed this road sign because your life was in direct danger. And thought to myself, right, hold on a minute, what's his life in danger for? There's nobody else about we're in there third. We were both brought up here. We're not going to get any hassle here whatsoever. Even the assholes would walk by us and go, oh shit, I didn't realise that was you, mate. Uh, but you were determined your life was in immediate danger because you were going to fight a giant bearded dragon. No, you don't need to know much about reptiles to know that your shoe is probably bigger than a bearded dragon. It must have been a giant bearded dragon. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know what size, mate, this bearded dragon you were wanting to fight must have been the size of a fucking elephant. I'm stunned by the you fact that, that we drank in the thistle and they dropped something in my drink. What do you think they heard that it was your birthday? So I will give my night they'll never remember. No, I think it's just a thistle. <laughs> <laughs> See the thing was, see once I agreed that I could see once I agreed to let you keep the fucking the shield, you weren't interested in trying to fight anything. <laughs> you could walk with a shield on your arm, ready to fight, fucking fight and pose as if you were a marching Roman soldier. Oh, Jesus. With this fucking shield over there. And 
I can whatever do it's listening and thinking like right you must there's no way you could have dealt this to his mother without wanting to slag him off for it and I'm totally being honest I did, it wasn't to slag him off it was just I ran into his mum at the bus stands she asked so how did his night end up I could she, she so like, to be fair my mum to be better in my context my mum started well my mum basically started at night I was out my team to celebrate my dad and my mum and then my mum waited halfway through the night and went home. I continued on. See, for the international viewers, explain what waited means, just in case they don't get their slang, mate. Uh, wait, 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 is being sick. That's your flag. I, I, I class wait, 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 Pretty intoxicated, to be fair. Mum and Dad oh, got me you, pretty soon. You were farewell gone before you phoned me to see if I was coming down, but you can't. That there was a chance I wouldn't because of the chest infection at the time. I think mm -hmm. it was. No, you were on antibiotics. I, I'm I just trying to follow up on antibiotics. It was either for a chest infection or an uh, abscess. Some one of the two. Would have, would have been my chest. I had any certain problems with my teeth after I left school. And, uh, and then I, that was mom, 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 I came on mum's dealt with me next morning. When you did. Mm -hmm. right, mom, 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 I, I knew the next morning when I woke up with a red pill next to me, uh, the famous whitey pill. That's when I knew that mum obviously took care of me and me in the morning, but I don't okay. remember any, obviously, still. Don't remember any of that. But you were Wait, telling my mum. You had the, the, my mum's my mom's response. You say you were only telling it to slag me off. My mum slagged me off. Oh, no, mate, I totally not, wasn't it? I was just telling your mum, the way I looked at it was, your mum kind of intimidated me, your mum threatened to break my knuckles for shutting the door once. <laughs> so she, and you tried doing it when your dad moved to us. Right. And my first oh, response was, it was, it was nowhere near as scary coming for Dean as it was H. And my mum was no scary in any way, to be fair. Like, everybody always classed her as being fairy, the nicest woman in the world. Oh, and but, friendliest woman in the world. Don't get me wrong. She had the time for and I gave anybody a last just to make sure you weren't struggling. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about my mum again at one point. We'll, we'll tell the famous <laughs> story of my mum. There are a couple of famous stories of my mum, but not at this point. <laughs> we'll leave that. We'll leave. We'll leave that. We'll leave that one for an, for one hour. I, I, I can think of two. I can think of three really, really good stories here, mum. Two of which I'm the one made a country in the story. And the other one is your mum making a country or selling this story. Oh, I, I'm thinking. I, I was thinking also the week after the week, week after her death. That 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 one is you. Oh, your mum's premonition. Oh no 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 no! You're before the end after like the end the air, but no buying a Christmas present. All right, aye. aye. That, that was I was thinking of you, either. You, I was you, also you, thinking you, kind of that one away. I was thinking no, about I was, the, the funny, yeah. the funny ends. That's still that one. That's still the funniest. One. When she <laughs> scalped me, no. In the kitchen. But we'll leave, we'll tell you. We'll leave why. We'll leave that story for. for I'm gonna, day. I'm gonna point out. No, I was not abused by Dean's mother. A scalp in Scotland is actually a shelf. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll kid on that's a real thing. We'll tell you first. We'll tell you more later. No, we'll tell you a bit. We'll tell you uh, the full story at one point. But no, I, 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 tell you, I tell your mum just as a case of, right, well, it was a boy's 18, she deserves to get what we got up to. And I, as soon as I tell her, he needed this shield because he was fighting a giant bearded dragon. Without batting an eyelid, it was as if she had looked up in the chamber, she had heard the story before and set up her own heckles for it. But just, aye, he, he was fighting the giant bearded dragon. Oh, aye, that's your deal. He's, he kens he's not a fighter. He kens he needs to defend himself. Hey! No. <laughs> she didn't. Well, never quite jumped the way I did there, but she made it look as if the shield was going up to protect her head. But that was just the kind of woman your mum was. Aye. Aye, so, she, 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 she kent everybody that we also knew that I wasn't a fighter. I didn't want to fight. So I just have a shield to protect myself with this bearded dragon. It obviously didn't like, exist. Your, your mum was that nice a woman, as we had mentioned fucking a couple of days ago. When we were at school, we would get home, walk each other home, I'd get into my back, get up to, you'd get up to your house. Mm -hmm. I would have my dinner, get changed, 
get to your bit just as your dinner was getting dashed up and your mum your mom and dad, whoever was cooking at the time, would turn around and go, I wasn't sure if you liked this, but there's a plate of chips there for you if you want them. I'm, no, Wait, no. I, no, no. I've no, already no. been fed. Oh, but I can't you would be here anyway, so I made something for you. No, no, the more important thing is, I wasn't even at my school class, and I was going to say, Dream inside around the corner for me. Five minute walk for me to get my house to my bit, and I was, that was even when I was really fat, it only took me five minutes, maybe 10 at my fattest. But it don't take me a five minute walk to get around, and I, every time we walked in, I Can was you still. Did you have a your guitar dressed. or not? No, fair enough, true. But I'm, I, he literally went in the house, stripped naked, put his clay, his gun out clay on, breathed in his, his dinner, and then left the house. He must have seen his mum for two seconds, high and by sort of thing. And then he was a mouse. He became became paid the the, the, the the wallpaper. Paid the, the textures. Yeah, he just became a normal thing to be about the house. He became more than just a, a pal by that point. That's when that's when you became like just a normal pet. Everybody was expecting you. That's why you got out for chopping the door because Aye. they can't. You were going to come walk in it. Half four and less on in. That was that was your time. The door, the door's <laughs> chopping. Why is Raymond <laughs> chopping the door? It's not Raymond. He's not coming up the now. <laughs> Before either one of you smoked, it was a case that, like your mum Kent four twenty was about the right time. <laughs> yeah, That's do, true. You, do you think your mum has sub- subliminally planted that in both your heads when we were fourteen? <laughs> four twenty is the number, the time. Because <laughs> that would have been the time you'd walk in my house. Eh? Like, enough time to get in. Well, in fairness, it was I was long enough that I could walk the dog and get a quick fag as well. Mm-hmm. But usually it was walk the dog down to the thistle and back, if I Aye. even made it as far as the thistle. Right, enough of the dog to have a pish. A pish and a shite. A bit merry a pain in the arse that I was I was the one that had to go and fucking find them. Right, when they went missing. If, if gates were left open and whatnot, like, every single time... A, a, a wee bit of backstory. Uh, the back garden, backyard, however you like to call your the green stuff that the dog shites on. Uh, that was kind of all concreted with a, <coughs> gate access into the next garden to get around the front of the bins. Uh, 12, 13, 14, up to about 17. Sometimes I take my bike out with me because it was quicker to get places. Sometimes I take the skateboard with me. Now, if I turned the bike, it meant having to go out the back door through the gardens and whack and shut the gates behind me. Any time that gate was left open, put, put into mere context, children run about the area every single time. I'm the one told to shut the gate every time I go out. It must be me leaving it open. A windy cleaner that doesn't fucking care about gates leaves them hanging in their hinges. Must be Raymond that left the gate open. You can go and fucking lock for them. It's your fault. It's your fault. If it if that dog gets injured, you can pay the vet bill. Never a fucking problem with the dogs. You can't yourself how scared Clark was about letting the dogs off the lead. No. Uh, l- luckily, I don't think Clark's ever going to get this far into a podcast to find out we're talking about. <laughs> no. I reckon, I reckon my mom might. <laughs> but Clark probably won't. He? No. But, again, he never gave the dogs any trust. My favourite one was uh, I walked in to get you to walk to school one morning, like we did just about every morning. And you wouldn't, not, normally I didn't come to the front door, I'd just get you out the steps at about half, it was about half eight. If you wanted at half eight, you I just nine times out of ten, I just head, head down. If I wasn't, if I wasn't, wasn't at half eight, I wasn't going to be there, I was already away. No, basically, that's how it worked. That, that was how that's how that's how we worked that way. For half eight was like we're only there, but half eight, tough shit. But I'm starting there, and I could hear, I could just hear random shouting. I was like, "Fuck, I've got, to, I'm going to head down and see if he's doing it." It's just I wait, I'll go, I'll, I'll go in. I'll, so I was angle is twenty five past. I was there, so I'll head down and see if he's there. I go to your front. I'm chopping your front door. Just, oh, mate, it, it was hear. eight o'clock. It was eight o'clock that you would get as a. It was eight uh, because remember, that was around about the time I started smoking, so we were, yeah, we're leaving the house early. to eat. Aye. It time for me to go and get fags and get to the school and have a few fags before I started. No, yeah, true, true. I didn't go up. But uh, I'm starting to trap my front door. And I'm not getting an answer. That's a bit weird. There's a somebody, somebody answers the door. 
And I could just hear in the background you shouting. I can hear Raymond's fucking voice. But he's not answering the, the door. Why is he not answering the door? And he wasn't shouting at me. He was, he was shouting at Doug's, obviously. And I'm, I'm looking like, what's going on? And right behind Raymond's house was a big massive field. And I, I just, the, I, I turned running. I'm, I think of kind of, this new forestry. It was, it was a lot lower down the, the trees had just been planted, but it's actually a forest now. Is it? Uh, but the, the other side of that woodland now is the field that you're uh, mm. referring to. I was just putting like the kind of distance. No, you could, you could see, yeah. you could see, obviously, you could see the whole field through your front door. It was that, it was that far enough away that the whole field was an eye view. But I'm blind as a bat, as you can tell. At that point, yeah. I didn't wear glasses. So I'm I'm hearing, honey, sky, what the f- what's going on here? And I'm, by the way, Raymond's door's here behind me. He's hit Raymond, went to this field. And I turn around and I look and I can just see this figure running after two dogs. What? I can just hear, see this hair flowing in the, from the background. I'm like, that's a guy with hair long hair. That must be Raymond, because that's not a woman. <laughs> and then I look, I, I notice. Uh, I think at that point your mum came to the front door and told me you were away getting the dogs. And that's when I know you were in the field and you just said, what, I think you'd want the dogs in your home. I'm like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that, yeah, you remember, remember the cola we managed to last through the lead room, the other one? Right. Oh, there it is, yeah. The guys when I noticed that we threw in the field. I was like, that's why I could hear him randomly shouting in the background. Mate, see, the thing that, the thing that I laugh at even more any time only stories about that dog, they dogs come up is the fact that at that time their recall was shite but then there's the videos I put on YouTube uh, there's a couple of videos I put on YouTube to let my mum and dad see them because mm. uh, that'll be three years now mm-hmm. since I when Sky passed it'll be four years since I passed so I thought it'd be a nice wee thing that fucking as you stumbled across them on an old hard drive thought I'll stick them on there so that they can see them and both of the dogs are running about that exact same field. Right, and then the well, the the thing, but... they the, 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 just dogs being dogs, having mm-hmm. a sniff running about, having a fucking run, burst, we out burst of energy. Then you show it to my stepdad, and he thinks, fucking, oh, why did you do that? The only thing could have happened to the dog, I own it, could have happened, but that's exactly what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> it was the same one of the days with Bess, their new dog. I think she would, it was about a week or two weeks after she got all jags, she was cleared to go walks and stuff. And they come through and my father says, oh, can you watch the dog today? Because me and your mum want to go to Sunday market. It would be easier going without the dog. Aye, no problem. Oh, it's a good day. Don't go walking it for miles. No, that was his fucking first mistake. Mm-hmm. He was basically telling me, stay in the house till we get back. Right. At, this point, at this point, I was 24. I wasn't yeah, going. To, I wasn't going to be grounded because my mom and dad's away out playing. No, oh, yeah. no chance. No. So, nodded my head. Yes, dad. No, dad. Three bags full, dad. <laughs> Until they were in the car, and as soon as I heard the car door shutting, that was the lead was on the dog. The engine started. They drove away, and that was me at the door. They were still it. I could see them disappearing in the distance, and I was locking the door and coming out the gate. I decided, fuck this. I'm not sitting in the house. I'm going to Golly's house. Went out there and mate, just sat at a blender with him for a couple of hours, a couple of cups of coffee, sat in the shed for a few games of dirt while the dogs were running about being dogs. And the funny thing was, I half expected it to be Sam, him being the other dog. I thought he was going to terrorise Bess, who at the time was been four months old. No, mm. totally opposite. We had to go and put Sam back in the house because <laughs> Bess to protect him. He was being a wee terror. <laughs> It was the first time she had ever seen another dog before. It's because Sam well, was maybe, a pussy. Maybe not ever seen one, but ever actually got to play with one and run about with another dog. No. Got a few videos, and before I went home, sent them to my mom and say, I just I was going to tell you not to show the volume, but I fuck it, show them. I went and done, done exactly the opposite of what he told me today. Look how, how dangerous this other dog that she's playing with is. Mm. <clears throat> But it just shows you the, the, the difference in trust between one person and another. No. Right. Um, trying to get back on track. I'm trying to think of what, what else in detail say it, talk about. Back on track, uh, there was 
McCubbin. Paul became pals. After McCubbin became, he became pals, I fucked off away from him. I moved to Air mm-hmm. when I was at college. And wasn't around the corner for each other anymore, but we still spoke most days. Oh, yeah. You were. Like for my first year of the college, I was still in Cumnock. Mm-hmm. Then it was my second, halfway through my second year, I moved. Right, like, because right, right. uh, you were, you had just started. I was, started at, I, was at, I was at that point. I moved to your college. That was just around about the same time as you moved, and thought it was great because it meant you didn't need to go far for your lunch and whatnot. Right, right, like, yeah. Like I shit, you know, you could set a watch to this cunt. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, I became the alarm clock to about four or five different people. I woke uh, four or five well, different people up every single day. A bit more of context, we, I lived across the road from Air Train Station. Everybody who is anybody that was ever in that flat always asked, the first question they asked was, how can you live across the road from the train station? I've just realised I'm talking pure Italian here, man. On the grounds of I'm talking with my hands. Right. But uh, lived across the road for the train station and everybody asked the same question, how can you live across the, for the train station? Is it no annoying as fuck? And I, there was trains going by every five, ten minutes, but when, once you were in and sat down, you didn't notice them. No, well, you didn't. You'd, you'd maybe notice the first one going by. Mm-hmm. I bet for a while we stopped paying attention, I didn't even notice them end up. I, I tend, it tended to be the only time I would notice them was either if I had a really bad hangover Mm-hmm. Or if my insomnia was playing up and I ended up doing an all-nighter. Right. And the only reason I would end up noticing them then was because like, they would stop just after midnight. Mm-hmm. Then they would start again at half past four. Right, that's how you and knew what time it was. You would notice because you would see the first train going by and it's the first one that's been by in ages. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's when I walk up and go, shit, I have to be up for college for three years. <laughs> that's not happening. Mate, as you've said for yourself, I moved to call. I moved to air so that I wouldn't be late for college. I lived across the road for the college and was still late. <laughs> was probably late more times than you were when you stayed in Cumnock. Right, it took it took was, about four or five minutes in the bus. I was never ever. I was never ever as late as Samson was. Well, he never turned up. <laughs> Samson had more late and more more no shows than I did. And Aye. is he trying to explain to him that? My student loans didn't matter if I showed up or not, as long as I held the coursework in. Mm-hmm, as, long as, the college, as long as the college every month said, I pay them, I mm-hmm. go paid. Whereas with Kyle's, it was self certs he had to go by, and if he had any more than four self certs in a month, it wasn't getting paid. That was paying off him. Mm-hmm. Then he would do silly things like putting two self certs because folk were coming up for the weekend. And then spend four days getting steaming, still drinking on the Monday. Gets to half past half past eight on the Monday night and decides, right, I'm not going to college tomorrow, and forgets to put in an extra cell set. No, so then he doesn't then, have to lose his money. Then, about, then does the same thing a fortnight later, and one else wait. How, how's my four cell sets up? Mm. It's like, well, you forgot to put one in the other week when you didn't show. Oh no, I did put them in. I put the ones in for Monday and Friday. Aye, but you didn't put the one in for Tuesday. I never had that bother when I was at college, because when I was at college in my first year, it was still the same pay system as the school was. Right. Like the EMA money we got in fifth and sixth year. Mm-hmm. Have the EMA money some folk got, depending mm-hmm. on what the income was. Uh, but I, you could say I watched with this cunt, like regarding it, what time he would show up at, and when he's saying about waking four and five folk up, there was only three people lived in the flat. Aye, 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 officially. <laughs> the only three people that were on paper, mm. but we we had the occasional lodger that would show up left and right, and that would stay for a couple of days, or just some folk stayed for the one night, and it was just the one night. Some folk would tell us that they were staying for a couple of nights, then show up expecting to stay for weeks. Aye. Month. We both kept we both, both can the exact two folk that done that. Right. <laughs> but uh, I'd turn up I was about half twelve from a for I I'd, I'd been I been in college for nine o'clock because I'd been there all morning. So I was wide awake, but I was like I went everywhere I wanted to do every single morning, every single afternoon, I'd shut the door. 
you know, they'd always got woken up by somebody. You sponsored by them, though, mate. You shouldn't have been in their name if we've not got their fucking. If we've Sorry, not got I, 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 I took I took a noodle, a noodle, a, a noodle pot <laughs> snack for sluts. <laughs> a, a, a chicken and mushroom noodle snack. Yes. We are foil lid. Right, and I, I, you, I, the How's moment is always funny. Always funny. Every mo, every, every moment, every afternoon, I get a fucking look. Tap the door. Hey, for you, hey, for you, uh, your ex messies. Usually because uh, Samson never heard me because his bedroom is farther away. And I get the look of, why are you you're waking me up? I'm like, it's half 12. So everybody would wake up and I'd go put, I'd walk in, walk straight into the kitchen, fill the kettle up, put the kettle on, and next, somebody would, next time I can, the kitchen's through, and I would then make the, make the coffee. And I'll make my cup, I'll make my pot of dough. I'm actually sure we put into play, there was a few random rules we had in that flat, like one of them being, if you fell asleep, wear your shoes on, we were allowed to fuck with you. <laughs> if, you fell, if you fell asleep but you had taken your shoes off, you had at least tried to go to bed, not allowed to fuck with them. One of the other rules we put into place that I'm pretty sure you were the only exception to the rule was if you chat the door before half past 12, you're getting punched in the throat. I, I became that was that became the new. I was I was right. It was half twelve because that was my time. I came in. <laughs> but it was that no, way. No, no, the other rule was the other rule that I was exception to was uh, if you were making a coffee, if you were in the kitchen with the kettle, you made a coffee. You made for everybody else in the house. And I went yeah. in every day, made my pot noodle, and never made any kind of cup of coffee because I, I thought the kettle up. <laughs> I was in for my lunch. Mate, I only had half an hour. You didn't, you didn't ever make a coffee. I think you maybe poured the water into a couple for me, mm. but that was if I was in the kitchen doing something anyway. Sorry, I was just like, oh, the other if, if, you were, if you were making it and you seen my cup was left sitting, you would pour the water and fucking, that's ready. No, no, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't a case of like, because we had the same rule as your dad at the flat, was if you're making a coffee, you can where it is. No. No, necessarily to the stage if you're going to make a coffee, you've got to do for everybody. Mm-hmm. But I did, in fact, make one ledger that overstayed his welcome. My pure bitch with that. Right, you had to make a coffee for Rookin. Who he's making, he had to make for everybody else. No, mate, it wasn't even that he had to make for folk. It was a case of when I say put the kettle on, you put the kettle on. Oh, hi, nice. And there was, time, there was times where he would hand me a full cup, and if I was sitting within hand's reach of the windy, Within arm's reach, I would pull the full cup out, point it back to him, and say, "Put the kettle on." <laughs> Just to piss him off, mate. That was him. He was staying for, as far as we were aware, he was staying for the weekend because the Southern S boys were coming up. Mm-hmm. So I would right, cool. That's fine. It was supposed to be arriving on the Friday. He landed on the Thursday with an extra person who had gave him a lift for coming up to air, and the reason he needed a lift was because he had too much to bring in the bus. The too much to bring on the bus was five bin liners full of clothes, Jesus. his telly, his Xbox, his telly, his PS3 at the time, rather, and his guitar and his amp because he was staying for a minimum three weeks because his, dad's, his dad had kicked him out. I bet he was me. <laughs> but we'll not talk about that. <laughs> no, I de- definitely know that that got un- uncovered far too quickly. Uh, when it happened at the door, though, it was a case of I Kyle Ken's, I'm coming. So I shut the door in his face and went through and spoke to Samson. It's like, here, this cunt's saying he's staying for three weeks. Oh, what? Fucking up, up he gets, fucking up the, to the door. What do you yeah. mean you're staying for three weeks? In context, it took a lot for Samson to start up. And I'm not calling him fat, but his nickname was Fat Boy. Mate, he was fat boy because he was gen- he genuinely was fat. You're fat boy because you used to be fat. <laughs> Wait, mate, I'm no kidding you. Fucking just before you moved up, no, actually, you weren't that big when you moved up to Dundee. Oh, I was. A... I oh, I I oh, I. No, seen the well, oh, before, I, the forties. Was, was it Jamie's back? I. No, mate, it was just fucking dawned on me that you were quite a bit bigger. But no, mate, this is that same tea batch that I'm talking about is the same one that Kyle would send to the shop to get his kebabs for him. <laughs> That's crazy, and that is the same batch that would happily do it as long as he got to beat somebody at FIFA first. 
didn't like it if you beat him with Celtic. Oh, of course no. Point out that I don't, I don't support only fucking all fun flavour really nowadays. I would say I'm a Rangers fan because that's my dad's side of the family stuff, but I don't even have their name, so why I should support the same team as them, I don't know. Fat was shite, I support music. See, I, I was... That, that's what pisses people off, because I... Uh, when pe- pe- people, a lot of people could try to come up with the name Dinyan, uh, Dinyan for me, and say Dinyan, that yeah, they put my name in it. And uh, I laugh because the Lord you were talking about came up with that name. He was the very first person to coin that name. And people think they're hilarious because they say it, and I go, he said it first. See, I'm not that cool. <laughs> if he's coming up with a joke before you, so I had to say something. No. Uh... I just think it's quite funny, some of the fucking shit. Actually, that tea bitch is somebody that we could actually probably do a full episode of stories about. Right. Like, I don't like the, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. There's also a lot of good things to say. There's a lot of good memories with uh, Music festival I mean, and shit quite, like quite a few good ones, like fucking random next where it was just like the Fowery is sitting or like playing a game together, see, rather than the way it got with certain people where they would come in, I will take the telly. And that was them for the moment they arrived to the moment they left. They were using the living room telly for their Xbox. Mm-hmm. Fair dues, that was all right if it was a pair to a folk. And we were all taking pair and whatever game was playing, like one or side his own sort of thing, passing the controllers about. Right, he's, playing, he's playing a solo game himself. <clears throat> when it gets to... I want to play this game. It's like, oh, well, fuck off him and play it then because oh, but I, I wanted to play it with you. It's like, well, fuck off him and you can play it online. Aye. I'm doing it with my telly. It's my telly. If anybody has got this far and they've started clicking, they can who these folk are. Fuck you, I'm not caring. <laughs> I don't care. Who cares? There is no intent to fucking cause any malice with anybody in any of these stories. It's just two guys talking shit. No. Two guys oh, that used to see each other every day that don't see each other every day deciding we'll do something. Aye. No, no, especially because, well, life and stuff gets on and obviously I'm no, I'm no longer in Cumnock, thank fuck. Because <laughs> who wants to say in that area much? I was always, I was, right now, I, 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 was, I wasn't in it, but I was in it a couple of days ago, unfortunately. For a couple of days, um, with my birthday. Place is still a right hole. But it's tight. It's no, no, no. It's, 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 if we end up with pure fucking like maskers, gear or whatever, as much as we are like, what is it, 40 mile up here, we are technically within the same bubble. Mm-hmm. Like, and if that I, makes I've, sense, very, very few people safe. have seen. I travel very safe, wear a face mask on, obviously. And I'm still working, I work in a, a, a fast food restaurant. And uh, in the endless. No, I work in a fast food restaurant and we, we get a test, temperature taken every day. I work, I wear a face mask for six hours straight, see we know straight, whatever it's long on my shift. So I'm obviously I'm actually, fine. I actually put it in my workroom. We're allowed to go, we get well, temperature taken twice a day. Like every time you're in the building, you've got to get your temperature redone. Hmm. There has been a couple of times that I've t- had my temperature taken and it has been way too high for the reading, but it's been like I've just spent an hour on the bus. No, or wrapped up like a fucking Eskimo, and no, I've walked wait, in. You have to wait five minutes. Couple, my temperature's been a couple of degrees high in the last season. The office said, "So that jacket and everything half goes on at six or five. Come mm. back in there again. No, you, you go back in and realise, oh fuck, my temperature's that like four degrees there. I didn't realise I was that wrapped up. Mm-hmm. No, you need you can take you can take five minutes for your temperature to get back to normal for your travel and stuff. That's mm-hmm. why if your temperature's too high, I've never happened to me to be fair. The temp- nine times out of ten, the reader just doesn't register me. No, that's the same as the fucking the filters on here don't recognise you. Aye, yeah. And if you want to see any of that stuff, we posted up two previous small cuts from a very a first time. We, we, we were messing about the first first day with us and we posted up, posted up two videos. We were messing about. If you want to go check them out, they're on the same channel this is on. There'll be links at the end and stuff like that. You can how YouTube works. I'm not going to be one of these people who try and explain how YouTube works when somebody's on YouTube watching YouTube. 
Yeah, maybe at some point, man, but no right at this particular moment. It makes Folk. me. I never. I never get that. I never get people. People find us. I never. No, I never get YouTubers who go like and subscribe and do this and do that. It's YouTube. I'm on YouTube. I'm using the app, especially me. I pay for. I pay for premium. Like I. Don't, I don't need to be spoken down to. You. I know how to work this app. <laughs> if I like. If I like your video, I'm going to like it. But if I want to subscribe to you, I'm going to subscribe to you because you know what? That's how YouTube works. After Aye. 15 years of it being an app, but that's how it works. I mean, I get stuff like that all the time. Like sometimes you'll get the folks saying about like, comment, and subscribe, and you're sitting there thinking, "Not a fucking no. I'll wait and see what your next video is like before right. I fucking subscribe your prick." Oh, no, I don't yeah. I don't like I myself actually having the argument. Like I said earlier on to you, I'm sending the voice messages back and forth. Mm-hmm. I listened to one of yours and turned around and responded and was waiting for you to fucking answer back, but I forgot to press the the button to record what I said. Reasonable. <laughs> in fairness, I was doing other things at the time and it, I forgot it was voice clips. I thought it was mm. on the phone. Right. You thought I, it was I, sitting there. I, in my head, I was just thinking, right, I'm, I'm on a phone call, it's on loudspeaker, kind of like this. You know, I could be doing one and still be talking to you. Right. Not even again. Uh, it was just that way. If I can sat the phone down within seconds, blanked, what am I doing? Right, I'm doing this. Aye, that's a great idea, mate. Why the fuck you don't answer? <laughs> oh, wait, it's not on the phone call. But it's not you a phone call. Me. I forgot to hit play there. No. Right. I think we have spoke for long enough. It doesn't come up, unfortunately, and tell me how long we've been speaking for. No, obviously, I'm still, this is, like, I've used this up three times. Folk, oh, well, I'll break the fourth wall here and let you get that. I don't really, I, I, I've never used this, these types of apps before, so I don't know how it works. I'm so well I think this is the second time I've used this. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I've had maybe six or seven Zoom calls, but I've not actually, that's our two, te- two attempts at using it. It's not actually been right. used for anything else. Right, if I want to, it, I usually just use Facebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. am, I, am I allowed to say that? All right. Right, of Facebook one the products we're allowed to say. Facebook, 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 YouTube, mate, YouTube, need, Facebook, like, Facebook, Twitter. Mate, there's a favourite. We're talking about Snapchat earlier on. So we were actually. Uh, <laughs> right. see, so, see, so that we don't see, so that's see, see, she sells, she sells on the sea shore. Right. Uh, Twitter, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter and Reddit later. Any problems in the future, you need to get on to Reddit and Director and find out what, what ones we're allowed to say and what ones we're not allowed to say. Right, Edit and direct, direct. Oh, wait, that's fucking me. <laughs> you, you got a mirror you could go and ask? I know, I'll break them off. <laughs> Mate, I was, I was trying to make it look as if we, we were somebody that we're no weekend, we're no. As I say, just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. The producer's talking to me through the ear. Oh, wait, no, it's the voices in my head. Wendy me. Miller's in the corner telling us to hurry up. Right, <laughs> you know, I felt the same. <laughs> so I so uh I will caught we're caught there for a while we'll end the recording. Uh thanks guys if you have made it this far into this recording. We appreciate it. have made it this far into um certainly impressed. Tap it if Agus fouls you. In fact, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna be an asshole and contact myself. If you have made it this far, hit the like button. In fact, fuck it, hit the dislike button. <laughs> Cause I don't yeah fuck. If you want to hear anything else for me on my own channel, Dean will get a link down somewhere right. down here. Right, there'll be a link. I'll maybe even if I, if I can, if I can figure it out, I'll get up. I, I sing songs and do card tricks and shit. So, mm-hmm. and I've got things on this channel that I, I, I wouldn't suggest you watching. <laughs> right, they're about they're about old, about five, five year old videos. Hear me talking pish about the very beginning of this collection. If you want to watch, watch away, but it's up to you. Uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, see you next time, hopefully. <laughs>